Your hair remains intact. Your hair is also suitably appropriate. The latest of many Jane Austen adaptations takes place in the 1800s, just like the novel. But just about everything else is different. Now we're worse than exes. We're friends. The language is modern, and Dakota Johnson, as Anne Elliott, frequently speaks to the camera. Meet my sisters in law. As a viewer, as an audience member, like I could, like it was accessible to me. But it doesn't sit well with some die-hard Austin fans. Her charming, witty writing style has engaged readers for generations, including Natalie Jenner. There's something very soothing about the choices she's making with her words. But there's also that wonderful catharsis of the happy ending. That's why she turned to Austin when her husband was diagnosed with pulmonary fibrosis. Jenner wrote her own tribute novel, which became a bestseller. She's skeptical of this new version of Persuasion. It doesn't look like her character is quite as dejected <laughs> and at that point of bottomness in life. Online, fans took issue with the language. Others argue having Anne address the camera ruins the intimacy of the writing. She's not handsome enough to tempt me. Over the years, there have been dozens of adaptations of Austen's novels. Of the modern versions, there's Bridget Jones's diary based on Pride and Prejudice. Ew, get off of me! The iconic Clueless, a riff off of Emma, delighted audiences and inspired them. My first love was this modern, remixed, multicultural adapt adaptation that just blew me away. Nikki Payne wrote her own modern retelling of Pride and Prejudice called Pride and Protest. And she says if you're going to go modern, you've got to go all the way. I think that's actually the way to uh, adapt a film. Lisa Sheng, CBC News, Toronto.